Welcome to Digital Asset News. My name is Rob, and today what I want to talk to you about specifically is leaving Cardano on centralized exchanges. Now, uh, it is June 26th, 2022, and we've seen some different issues already pop up with Luna. We've seen Three Arrows Capital and the contagion that is happening on with Celsius, potentially Voyager, and other uh, centralized exchanges. So I think now, uh, better than ever, or more, uh, the best time is to take a look at what crypto you have on certain exchanges and take that crypto off said exchanges. One thing I wanna to talk to you specifically about, of course, is Cardano. Now, we put out some, uh, some rules recently, which were just five and they're basic, which is never invest more than you can uh, afford to lose. And that's why I say it's all gone. And then of course, the next one is 100% uh, scams, meaning everything's a scam. Treat everything as a scam until proven otherwise. And, then, and the third one is no exchanges. Now you can leave uh, some crypto on some exchanges. I'm not perfect either. But I'm not telling you to, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to leave your life savings on uh, one certain exchange. So what I want to uh, really go over today is taking your crypto off exchanges and more specifically Cardano. So we already did this video previously. So what we're going to talk about is uh, exactly what Cardano is, uh, proof of work versus proof of stake. Uh, how it actually works, walk you through the whole process, give you a wallet that you are in control of, not another uh, uh, exchange being in control of your uh, crypto itself. And then, of course, lastly, how to stake to the DNU stake pool, the type of rewards to expect, and how everything plays out. So that'll be the video for today, as uh, today we are in Houston taking care of some things with our real estate. So uh, enjoy the video. This is a previously one that we had done before, but I think right now it's timely that we talk about this uh, specific subject right now. So let's jump in. So let's break it down to the basics. A POW system or proof of work system is the kind that Bitcoin uses where a, a bunch of computers solve complex math problems and they get a reward, which is uh, more Bitcoin. Now, Cardano is different. Cardano uses a proof of stake system, which is like a lottery. And each ticket is one Cardano token. So the more tickets you have, the greater chance you have to win the lottery prize. And that prize is the opportunity to validate a block and add it to the Cardano blockchain. When you win this opportunity, you must be online at the exact time of winning or else this opportunity will go to the next Cardano holder and you could miss out on the chance to claim that reward. Or you could simply delegate to a stake pool like DNews, which is up and online 24-7, 365, so there's never a chance you won't miss out on rewards. Now, as far as rewards, expect to receive approximately 4 to 6% annually, which really, I mean, it's pretty good for just delegating. Now, rewards are paid out every epic, and a Cardano epic is every five days. Your initial delegation stake may take about two to three epics to receive rewards, which is like 10 to 15 days. But after that, expect your rewards every single epic. Now, to clarify this point, there is a nice little graphic that I like to use called the delegation cycle. And it really depends on when you start to delegate. So if it's at the very beginning of an epic at like, let's say 213, it will take you a while to start to receive those rewards. If you stake at the tail end of a particular epic, then it'll be a little bit shorter. So just so you know, that is exactly how these things work out. Now, delegating your Cardano does not put your ADA at risk as your Cardano stays in your wallet. Your Cardano is absolutely not locked up. You can unstake at any time and you're free to move so there's no lockup time frame or anything of that kind of nonsense. Also, there's no minimum requirement to stake and you can add or remove your Cardano at any time for staking at the DNews uh, staking pool. Also, stake pools such as DNews are trustless, which means that we don't receive your rewards and then disperse them to you. Actually, what happens is a Cardano protocol determines your rewards and pays out automatically directly to your wallet. Now, another great benefit of Cardano staking and choosing a stake pool such as DNews is that there are no slashing penalties. With Ethereum 2.0, you could get a slashing penalty or have part of your stake ETH reduced 
taken away or just simply burned for errors on the validator's part. And this could be intended or not intended. So this actually does not happen on the Cardano network. And this is why we're excited to be staking on it. Now, the worst that could happen is that she won't be rewarded for a block. But even that won't happen here at B News, as we have again 24 7, 365 monitoring by Grafana and Kubernetes through the Microsoft Azure, which is enterprise class. It's highly secure and it's proven as one of the most reliable sources, which is why we picked it. Now, it's it's pretty expensive to run on it, but it's one of the ones or the best ones out there. And it's why we went in that direction. Now, there's two fees for the DNU stake pool. There's a 340 fixed fee, which is mandatory by the Cardano Foundation for all pool operators. This is automatically taxed from all the rewards that the pool collects. So this fee is spread out over the entire pool. Now, some other pools may charge more, but we charge the absolute bare minimum. The DNU's stake pool margin fee is 5%. That means that if you make 180A, then the rate to the DNews pool is 580A. Now, some charge more and some charge less, and but with our platform, reliability, uptime, security, and competitive fees, I think we have a great choice for you to stake your Cardano. So let me break down these two fees in further detail. So if we're talking about the 340 fixed, that is between all of the delegates for the DNews stake pool. So that would be pretty expensive if it was just one person who had to pay the whole 340, but thankfully in our stake pool, we will have thousands of people and that 340 ADA fee will be dispersed among thousands. So uh, if we have 340 delegates, that means that each person will pay one ADA. If we have 680, that means that only pay uh, half an ADA and uh, on and on down the line. Now, as far as the 5% fee, let me break that down even further. So if you staked a thousand ADA uh, with the DNU stake pool, uh, that would mean that you would make between 40 to 60 ADA per year because that is the industry average between uh, 4 and 6% for the rewards. So these are your, your rewards, 40 to 60. So we are not charging 5% on what you stake, which would be 5% of 1,000. We are charging 5% uh, of your rewards. So that means that if you earn 40 to 60 ADA, so uh, somewhere around there, that means that uh, the staking or the fee ex uh, would be only two to three ADA that you would have to pay. And that is essentially it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to stake with the DNews pool. I'm gonna use the Daedalus, Yoroi, and ADA Lite wallet. And this is our official website for the DNews staking pool. And real quick, let me just walk you through it. So uh, up top, let's click on home. Let's go to the very top. The very top of the page, of course, when you scroll over, got a nice little little effect there. This is everything about BNews, about what we just talked about. Owner pledge or my pledge is gonna be 75,000. Uh, transparency, and then you can check everything here as far as like ADA pools and just take a look at what the pool is actually doing, how well it's performing everything else. Uh, fees and reliability uh, on Microsoft Azure. Kubernetes with 99.9% uh, .9 uptime for max blocks minting. And then there's a little snippet here about uh, Cardano itself. This is a nice little video from uh, Charles where he goes into details about what Cardano is, why it's a third generation blockchain, what they plan to do and everything else in between. Pretty good, but it's kind of long, about an hour or so. You, get your, you can check the roadmap here, the cardano.org, IOHK, which is actually what they, the, the building part, and Emergo, which is the enterprise arm of Cardano. So just take a look at that. And then this is just a quote that I feel this is why I did do the things that I do. And it's because trust is a currency you can't buy. Uh, you've seen on this channel that when I talk about things, I try to be as, as precise and honest and open as I possibly can. And uh, that is, I think, why uh, you're here. Also with, with the website, danteachescrypto.com, just a regular website, that is 100% free. I don't charge anything for that. I want people to come in here and learn all about cryptocurrency digital assets. And this is just what uh, I feel should be done at this time. So then moving down, here's where we have the staking wallets, uh, Daedalus, Yoroi, and ADA Lite. And you can secure links here so there's no confusion as to where you can actually get them. These are the ones that I've tested out. These are the exact websites and places you can go to download these three wallets so there is uh, no scamming going on, which I always hate. So just check those out. And then moving forward down, uh, this is the exact same video we're talking about here, how to stake. Some FAQs, and then this is how we compare to other pools. 
Now, in all honesty, uh, starting up a stake pool, I thought would be a lot easier, but it is a lot of work. And there's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts, and really it is its own entity. It's a, it is its own business. So if you're out there looking at pools and you don't see them kind of like treating this as a legit business, then be a little bit leery because over here, I can see exactly how much work it's going to be. And uh, again, it is a its own separate business. All right, so let's uh, go up here and let's show you how easy it is to stake with all three of the most common Cardano wallets out there, uh, the Daedalus, Yodoi, and ADA Lite wallet. Now, just a quick note, uh, you can only stake your Cardano to the DNews pool with these wallets so you can't have your ADA token sitting on an exchange and stake from there to our pool actually any pool it's not really how it works so again if you need to download a wallet just choose one of these three they're all solid choices the Daedalus wallet uh, makes you download the entire Cardano blockchain which takes a bit but the Yoroi and ADA Lite wallets do not so there's that's an option for you okay uh, let's start with the Daedalus wallet and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to stake using this wallet. All right, great. So here we are in our Daedalus wallet. This is our demo wallet. So very easily on the left hand side, you got your wallets, uh, ITN, and some settings. We're going to click on this little icon right here. Looks like a little square. And it's going to have delegation center, stake pools, rewards, and info. And of course, this is our Cardano, current Cardano Epic. Remember, those are every five days. Next Cardano Epic is uh, another four days. So that is just what it is for right now. So, so what I want to do is go to stake pools. And I'm going to search for the stake pools. I'm just going to put in D News. And there we are. Of course, we're not doing so hot right now because we are brand spanking new. So we're waiting for everybody to come on in. But uh, this will all change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on D News, give us all the information. The official staking pool of Digital Asset News, Power of Microsoft Azure. Same thing we just talked about, the rank, the pool margin, the pledge, and all that good stuff. So we're going to delegate to this pool. And this little guy's going to pop up, wallet selection, stake pool delegation, continue. So we're going to select a wallet. And remember, it's pretty much all or nothing. So you can have multiple wallets in Daedalus, uh, but whatever you choose will be, it's going to be the entire amount of what you delegate. So for this one, I'm going to delegate a whopping 21 ADA. I'm going to click continue. And it's going to say, do you want to do this? And of course, yes. So just so you know, these other pools right here, the one, two, three, four, five, these are the top pools that are there. But if you see that little bar right there, that green bar, that means that they're saturated. And when they're all the way full, that means that there is the limit of 63 million. Now, it used to be around 205 million for the Cardano uh, saturation point, but they reduced that to 63 million. And past that point, you get diminishing rewards. So I would not recommend to uh, sign up for any pool that is already saturated. We monitor all that. If we become saturated, we will let you know in advance and we will start up in another pool. And that day is today. Today it is March 23rd, 2021, and we now have two stake pools for DNews. We have DNews 1 with a rating of 433, and DNews 2, which we just started up about a month ago, at 556. And you'll notice that DNews 1 has the bar right in the middle, as does DNews 2 uh, at 556 with the bar right in the middle. So what is going on here? Well, what we have here is that for our DNews stake pool 1, we have over almost 1,600 delegates or people who have delegated to our stake pool. And we have almost uh, over 30 million, 209,008 ADA. And our saturation point is 46.8%. On our DNews 2, we have almost 1,500 delegates or people who have delegated to our stake pool at uh, over 27 million ADA being staked to this particular pool with a saturation point of 42.5%. So why did we make two stake pools when we didn't need to? Well, it's quite simple. At the end of March, the Cardano Foundation was going to reduce the amount of ADA per stake pools from, in the beginning it was over 200 million, then it went to 63 million, which is what it's at currently. And they were going to reduce that from 63 million to only 32 million at the end of March. So we decided we would be proactive and create two separate stake pools so there was no oversaturation. So right now, uh, as it stands, you can safely delegate to DNews1 or DNews2, and we are only at 50% saturation at both of these different pools. So the question then is, well, what will happen if you stake to a pool that is oversaturated or over the 63 million allowed ADA per stake pool? 
things like this will happen where once the it uh, the ADA or, or ADA delegations become more than what is allowed, you start to have people lose rewards like it, what is happening right here with uh, with this stake pool. We do not want that to happen. So we're trying to be proactive uh, before these issues come about. And that's what's best for everyone so that nobody loses any rewards. All right, so that takes care of that piece. Let's continue on with the video where I can show you how to sign up uh, for the Daedalus wallet to stake into the DNews. So we're gonna click on continue. And there's always a fee, of course, a little bit uh, 0 0.17. That's not for us, that's the Cardano fee. We're gonna type our spending password. Again, do not give this out to anybody. This is your spending password, kind of like your private key. So I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna stop the video. Click confirm, and voila, we are done. Stake from the wallet is now delegated the news stake pool. And just like we talked about, sometimes it takes you know two epics or three epics to really start to get everything moving. And this is exactly what it says. In nine days, one hour and 40 minutes, that's when you can expect everything to really get moving. And that is as easy as it gets. So that's a Daedalus wallet. Let's move over to the Yorai wallet. So here we are on the Yorai wallet. This is my Yorai demo. I'm just gonna click on that. And it's super simple. I'm gonna go to the delegation list. I'm gonna search by ID. I'm just gonna put in the news and click search. And there it is. So I'm gonna click on delegate. So now I'm gonna delegate this wallet to DNews stake pool. So it's pretty much an all or nothing. It's either the total amount or no amount. And you can break up your wallets. You can create other wallets if you don't want to do the whole thing and do that that way. But for this one, to make it simple, I'm just going to put 19.8. There's fees for on the Cardano network, which is uh, already put in. I'm going to put in my spending password. Again, do not give this to anybody. And I'm going to click on delegate. Great, and it's already done. Successfully delegated. Track the status of the stake pool and the amount of time remaining to receive reward for the dashboard from the dashboard page. We're gonna click on dashboard page. And this is where for in the, in the Yoroi, you can check everything out. So that is it for Yoroi, pretty easy. Again, you can add as much as you want to, take it all out, unstake, whatever you wanna do. That's the beauty of the Cardano network. So here we are on the ADA Lite wallet. So up here, obviously I'm gonna click on staking. So one thing you'll notice is that the default stake pool is the ADA Lite stake pool. So if you want to get to DNews, all you have to do is first of all, wipe this away, don't need this. We need the stake pool ID. And to make this very simple, I actually put this right underneath the ADA wallet ID. We're just gonna copy this. And then we're gonna come over here to ADA Lite and we're going to paste it. And then also, as we talked about, if we look over on the ADA Lite wallet, we see the DNews 1 ID and the DNews 2 ID. And again, as a reminder, it doesn't matter uh, which one you stake to, DNews 1 or DNews 2. Uh, there's no risk of being oversaturated right now. We're only at 30 million and the max is at 62 million. So now let's finish up delegating to the ADA Lite wallet. Getting pool info, DNews 5%, everything else there. So the fee, of course, is for Cardano. That is just one of those fees that they have. And we're going to simply click on delegate. So pool ID, digital asset news, D news, ticker, fixed costs, all those things we talked about, and confirm transaction. And it's going to sync the wallet. And then here we go. And don't be alarmed. The uh, delegate stake will always go back to the default ADA Lite. But if you see the staking rewards history in the left-hand side, you can see that the uh, pool is digital asset news. Also over on the right-hand side, current delegation, ticker D news, and everything else right there. And lastly, I want to mention this. If you go back to the website and go up to about D news, there's a link right here as far as transparency. When you click on this, this will show go you to adapools.org and it will show you exactly how the pool is actually doing over time. So you can take a look right here as far as performance, blocks, rewards, delegators, and about. Of course, we are new uh, right now, so uh, we will definitely be growing, and uh, this is the place to check all that out. All right. And now as an update, we've added a couple more pieces of information so you can stay up to date with what is actually going on with the DNews stake pool. So under transparency, we have DNews 1 and DNews 2. If you click on DNews 1, you can, that and it'll take you to what is going on with DNews. And one thing I want you to, to pay attention to is the uh, return on ADA, which is monthly. And we are we are right now garnishing 5.47%. Again, pretty great considering that the industry average is 4 to 6%. And the return on ADA lifetime is 5.57. So again, doing our job, doing great things. And lastly, a couple more pieces of information to go over. If you go to danteachescrypto.com, uh, and then on the very top, it'll say uh, Cardano Staking Pool. And of course, this is the, the site we're, all, we're going to. When you scroll down, there's two pieces of information that we added in, which is the saturation level.
level. So just like we saw with uh, pools.pm, when you click on view, you can check, take a look at the saturation level for DNews 1 and DNews 2, and just take a look and make sure that they are not saturated. Again, maximum is 63 million. We are definitely under that. So we've got uh, DNews 1 here, and then DNews 2, and we're looking pretty good. So you can always be up to date with what is going on. So that is the first part. Uh, and you can always, of course, find that right here as far as the transparency as well. And then the second part, which is a major change, and I, this is the, um, the direction we are going to go with this pool. Now, for the description of both of our pools, it says, okay, you know, this is the official staking pool, Digital Asset News, Power Max of Azure. But this last sentence is super important. And it talks about the proceeds given every epoch to help the global unbanked through kiva.org. What are we talking about here? Well, what is going on with is, is that every epic, we are going to be giving these what's called micro loans to the organization of Kiva. And the reason why we're doing this is because when we give the charities, we never really know what it's going, but with micro loans, we can give this to pretty much anybody we want to throughout the entire world for the underserved and unbanked. So you can you can break this down into you know women, shelter, arts, agriculture, uh, education, tech, health, water, refugees, whatever else you want to. And we've already donated up to $500 uh, for this cause. And again, this could be anything from like, uh, you know, somebody in um, Nicaragua who needs uh, to buy more rice for their for their shop, or somebody who in uh, in Kenya needs a uh, a water pump uh, for their business. But again, these are micro loans, and this is what we're doing every epic. So we'll be giving 100 ADA every epic. Now we have to uh, exchange that for dollars. So you know today uh, uh, Cardano is worth about a dollar fifteen. So that's about $115. But in the future, Cardano could be you know, $3 or $5 or $10. So yeah, it just depends. So this is what we are doing and moving forward. So just know that if you are staking to DNews, there is a much bigger purpose uh, for what we are doing here. So again, this is Kiva.org, and you can find the link for that this website in all my YouTube videos. You can also find it on, on the webpage. And the great thing about Kiva.org is that it's been around for over 14 years, and the person that founded it was the one of the founders of PayPal. So that's a very structured place. Uh, it's been doing good for a very long time. And uh, we're happy to be a, a part of what is going on here to make the world just a little bit better. Okay, so that's it. So uh, I want to make that as simple as possible. Hopefully that really just spelled it out and laid it out for you make it uh, very quick and easy. There's just three things to go over. First of all, uh, wallet selection. Me personally, I personally like the Daedalus wallet. And yes, I know it, it takes a long time to download the entire blockchain. And it is uh, it's, it's quite a cumbersome in the beginning. But for me, uh, it, it just works and I trust it. It's easy to use and that's it. Uh, the other two are solid choices, Yo Roy and Ada Light. But uh, just uh, take a look at which one works best for you. Me personally, I just like the Deadless Wallet. That's just how it goes. And then also, don't forget to write down your uh, spending password. So when you get the rewards, you can actually go and do those things with them, whatever you want to do. And then also, don't forget about your mnemonic phrases. Don't be like me and uh, write your mnemonic phrase down in some uh, piece of paper somewhere and, and store it somewhere that you thought you could remember and then you just lose it. Me personally, uh, in the good old days of the test net, I wrote down my mnemonic phrase for my uh, Daedalus wallet and completely lost it. And that means that uh, 20,000 ADA uh, is just locked and will never be seen again because uh, I could not remember where to put my actually phrase passes or my mnemonic phrase into. So I recommend if you're going to use anything, uh, go and take a look at the uh, the stone book. I have two myself. I write down all my passphrases, all my passwords, everything else. And I've got two. I got one in my house, one in my bank account, or one of my uh, safety security boxes. And uh, that really uh, has uh, given me peace of mind. So that is it for today. So uh, if you liked the video and you found value, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And that's it. Hopefully you will consider uh, staking with D News, and I'll give you updates as they come in. But that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.